what's going on everybody josh pocock here and in today's video we're going to be looking at open devon an open source free alternative to a tool like devon by cognition and if you're not familiar with devon we saw this um a couple a few months ago basically and as you can see it has a gui interface it has a shell a browser an editor a planner and it's essentially somewhat of a alternative to a tool maybe like Ader or Claude Dev or Claude Engineer, essentially helping you with your coding projects. So there is an open source alternative to this, which we're going to cover, show you how to install it. Let's dive right in. All right, guys, so here is the GitHub uh repo for open devon all links as always will be in the description down below as well as their documentation right here so there's different ways you can config configure it and whatnot but uh, we'll quickly go over some of the basics with open devon and um yeah you can see they have a discord channel uh slack channel and they're getting started guide um let me just see here all right, so if we check out their docs, you can see that there's, like I said, a bunch of different ways to configure it depending on, um, you know, what LLM you're using. Uh, you can use Olama, um, agents and capabilities. So this agent uh, implements the Code Act idea paper tweet that uh, paper idea, um, and there's the paper and the tweet there that consolidates LLM agent actions into a unified code action space for both simplicity and performance see paper for more details uh, this conceptual idea is illustrated below at each turn the agent can converse communicate with humans in natural language for asking ask for clarification confirmation etc code act choose to perform the code by executing the code execute any linux bash command execute valid python code with an interactive python interpreter this is simulated through bash commands see plugin system below for more details and then plugin system we got jupyter plugin uh swe agent tool so powerful batch command line for a tool for software development tasks introduced by swe agent um so demo and you can see the different actions here uh action cmd run action python run cell action echo action action finish action agent talk action observations methods uh, agent planner all right and all that good stuff um event stream runtime so yeah basically just going through uh, kind of the architecture and how it works we're not gonna go through the in-depth um you know break walk walk through of how it actually works we're just gonna actually install it so like i said there's a couple different ways to install i'm just going to show you the way i did it but um you can see i really just used what they have right here so open dev works best with docker version um whatever uh 26 and then docker desktop you must be using linux mac or uh wsl on windows so that okay so <laughs> it's kind of funny because i actually was having some issues i was trying to install it on a windows machine and then i i didn't even read this like this part right here but i was just like let me just use wsl because i saw that this was a uh uh, Linux command so I basically just tried to convert that to a Windows command and I was encountering some errors and then I'm just like screw it let me just try WSL and then that it worked right so if you don't know what WSL is basically it's essentially a uh, Windows subsystem for Linux so I'm not going to cover it and just get that set up but yeah you can get that set up so you can basically have like Ubuntu pretty much any windows or linux distro on your windows so you're gonna want to have that you're also gonna want to have docker.com of course and yeah those are the main things we cover docker many times it's a great great tool to use okay so the only thing i did to change this is i just changed the port right here from 3000 to like 3004 i believe just because i'm already using 3000 right now so anyways once you do that you can literally just copy this command and go into your terminal okay once you're in your terminal um for me i'm using uh, the terminal app and i just simply go here and then i click on my ubuntu uh, wsl um, instance or my terminal for that 
because I'm not using the windows, obviously, like I said. And then all you do is you just copy that and you paste paste it in the terminal. It's one command, very simple to set up. And boom, once you do that, you'll get something that looks like this. Well, actually, you will get uh, something that looks like this initially. Well, it's basically just right here, settings. So you can change around some of the configuration here. Um, you can see like the agent uh, for some reason. I think it's because I'm currently in a um, task, I believe. It's not letting me change it, but you can change the model. You can change the co the agent here. There's a bunch of different options. There's a bunch of different models. Like there's a lot. So yeah, you can pretty much use. I mean, I haven't tested all of them, right? They, they say they have a llama. They say they have all that good stuff, but um so yeah they have like any scale they have uh i saw like there's like a huge amount i can't let me just see if i can uh maybe see that in just a second okay so i just started a new session as you can see we got the code agent so we got okay so this makes a lot of sense okay so we got browsing agent so i wonder okay so code agent browsing uh browsing agent i'm still actually getting familiar with uh, open dev in here and you can you you may have just heard that sound you can turn toggle on or off the sound but first off i just want to say i really like the gui the ui um to be honest just see where it is so yeah i really like the gui um it's actually really nice like if you've been following this channel you see me do reviews on other coding tools such as ader continue dev claude dev i'm going to be doing a lot more as well um covered a bunch but this is something more you this is like unique i mean i guess it's not really unique because it's like a clone essentially of devon but it's a unique open source one basically which i like where it has the code editor the browser even have jupyter python right here um and let's i don't know exactly um where to go ahead like if i wanted to delete these right here so i'm still learning um how to use this specific tool but as you can see i was doing some tests earlier i just got it to write a task manager app okay so you can see there's a terminal here but let's go ahead um so yeah you have your different agents here and then you also have your models right so we can see there is a lot of different models like amazon any scale azure um quad and then we got cohere data bricks in a deep infra um gemini grok meta mistral olama open route router um text embeddings vertex ai um whisper we got pretty much almost anyone you can think of you put your api key here you can select your language enable confirmation mode don't know exactly what that is but i just kept it uh off okay so let me just try this browsing agent save um create a task manager app let's just see so you can ask it questions like so okay so make sure you're using the coding agent um when doing this so now we're using coding agent servers here would you like me to browse the server's homepage? So let me see if I... Okay, so this is where I encountered like issue before because it will basically cr create the code here, which I could obviously just like import into an IDE, run it myself, but I haven't. And then here's the Jupyter Notebook, which is pretty cool. I really like how it has like these functions. It's actually really awesome. Um, the browser right here... Um, basically saying hey it's running on port 5000 you can access this would you like me to browse the server's homepage and show the content so if i just say like yes i was kind of getting like an infinite loop type issue so i'm asking the browser agent for help oh okay is it actually working this time in order to accomplish my goal i need to ensure the server is running and accessible okay it suggests that the current server might not be running or there's an issue with the URL. So yeah, I don't know. I don't know. Maybe if you guys see I'm doing something incorrect here, let me know. Or if it's just a 
bug. I don't know. Um, yeah, but essentially it's like, won't let it, the brow, I'm having issues with the browsing functionality. It keeps going in an infinite loop and I'm pretty sure it's just like wasting my credits right now, my tokens. So let me just pause this task. Yeah, encounter too many issues. Start a new task. And then when I start a new task here, I believe I still have the same files, I think, if not, whatever, but, um, yeah, I'll, uh, I'm gonna do some checking around and see if I can figure some stuff out in the docs or maybe in the community if anyone else had this issue. Um, if I do, I'm gonna add that part on to this video. If not, if I can't find anything, then I'm just gonna upload this and, uh, yeah, if you guys have any, uh, you know exactly what I may be doing incorrect here. If not, maybe it's just a bug. But other than that, in terms of writing the code, um, I mean, it looks, I, I haven't tested this, but it looks, I mean, fairly simple task manager. We can see server log. Okay, so we got a server log here. Debug mode. This, document, this is development server. Do not use this. Okay, running on here. Okay, let me try local host. I don't think it's actually running now. So, um, yeah, don't know exactly what the issue is. Uh, I will try to troubleshoot and see if not, it could just be a bug. But other than that, I do think it, I do think this tool has, um, you know, a lot of, it do, it does have a lot of potential if, if they fix some of these issues, I don't know, maybe unless I'm doing something wrong, but if, if this was working fully functional and, and whatnot, I think it'd be really, really useful. I really like the goo GUI. I think it's different. Um, I think, I think it's good to have a lot of options. I think it's good to have the GUI. And I also think it's good to have like the co-pilot, uh, you know, artifacts type extension or whatever in your own IDE, um, in terms of actually like you doing projects and working on a day-to-day -day basis. It's just, uh, easier that way if you could have something where it has both I mean I think that'd be really cool but other than that guys don't want to spend too much time here I think you got the gist of this tool if you have any questions let me know in the comments down below guys also too if you're new to the channel first off I want to say thanks to all the to all the subscribers we just actually hit a big milestone I mean it's not that big but it is for me it's it's uh, definitely you know a big, big amount of growth uh, we just hit 4,000 subscribers this morning at like 4,010 right now. So if you're new to the channel and you got some value here, make sure to smash that subscribe button, smash that like button. We upload videos every single day about AI, about artificial intelligence, marketing, business, entrepreneurship, development, AI coding, whatever the case is, we cover a lot of videos. I have like 400 and I think this will be our 403rd video. And, um, and yeah, we're, yeah, about our 400 and uh, third video. Yeah, it's a slow but steady grind. I'm really excited, uh, you know, with uh, how things are going and, you know, um, the feedback and whatnot and, you know, everything like that. If you guys want me to make a video on any specific tool, topic, or covering certain things, definitely let me know. Uh, I'm going to make a few other videos. Uh, I've been making some around these type of AI coders. I know some of you have been asking what's my favorite or whatnot. I'm going to do a couple more and then I have a bit of understanding and be able to give you guys more details on terms of like what i really prefer at the moment i really like continue dev and i really i actually really do like uh, claude dev which i covered yesterday uh ader is really good too um but yeah the, right now those are kind of like my i said my top three I'm gonna test a few more out as well do some videos on those but uh yeah guys we upload every single day so i'll see you in tomorrow's video if you haven't already joined our free community stride community link in that description will be in down below Free Facebook group, free Discord channel. You can network with like-minded individuals as my uh, AI enthusiasts, entrepreneurs, business owners, etc., as well as myself. And then other than that, guys, I will see you in tomorrow's video. Keep hustling, keep grinding, and of course, guys, accelerate your stride. Take care.